previously we've made our Genesis character walk like this. We've also made it possible so that the character can walk around. If I go and switch onto this in the selective viewport, we can now walk around with our character. So this is great. Now let's have a look how we can make little fixes. So here, like the top of her pants, they seem to intersect with her legs as she's walking towards me. And there's also this problem that we've seen with that little attachment to her pants, this little silver thing that seems to be too far away from where it really should be. So let's go and fix that with Blender 3.6. This is actually a new feature that's only been made possible in Blender 3.6, so you can't use any older versions of Blender. 3.6 minimum or upwards will make this happen. So what we need to do is, well, Control Shift S is always a good thing to you know save your 133 unsaved assets that's always a good start and now we're going to find in our content browser under das to unreal under your custom character mirror in my case i'm going to find my skeletal mesh that's this one here and i'm going to right click on it and i'm going to go and find the source location so open source location here and that'll open a window let me go and copy this path out so that i know where this file lives so this is what das to unreal engine exported out and this is what the script in unreal engine imported into unreal engine let me go and open this in blender 3.6 so double click a to select everything x to delete everything and then i'm going to go over here to file import fbx and i'll give it the path that i've just copied out so just put that into here hit enter and here's my mirror so i'm going to go and make sure that this option is selected use pre post rotation that's a new blender feature that we haven't had before animation i don't need so i'm going to untick that and that is everything i need import and once it's come in, I need to make a little change so that I can work on my mesh. So there's two things that are getting in the way here. First of all, massive bones. We don't need to see them. That's a blender thing. So up here under overlays, I'm going to go and disable my bones. If I do that, I can see that Mira doesn't look like I remember her. Some major issue with her arms going on. And that's okay. It's basically a pose that's now applied in Blender that we need to clear. I've had this with many characters over the years and it they, sometimes they look like a completely mangled mess. And the way to get rid of this is to switch over to the pose mode. And inside of here, we head over to pose, clear, transform, all. And when you do that, Mira looks much like I remember her. So that is very, very good news. I'll get out of pose mode and go back into object mode, click off Mira, and then I'll go and pick the item that I want to change here. So in my case, it's going to be this attachment and i think it's a separate one yes there we go so it's separate attachment there's also some poke through on her buttocks that i can see there and then if i wanted to go and fix the pants i'm going to do that in a second pass here i'm going to select those so you can pick an item that you want to change and then use your favorite modeling tools to tweak them so in my case i'm going to go and just move this over closer to her body so i'll go and head over into edit mode and with all the vertices selected, or I'm going to go use faces for this, I'm going to go and press just GY to move it to kind of where it needs to be. I suppose it's supposed to be an attachment. You check with the DAS character and see where it's supposed to be. Oh yeah, I see. So it was dangling off this metal button here. So I'm going to go and put that into the same place. It looks like the scale has also changed a little bit. But hey, that's that's quite okay. We can so I kind of was it here? Was it under? Yeah, that's that's kind of exactly where that was. So just move that into the correct space here until you're happy. So I think I'm kind of happy with this now. And just so that we can see how the other way around, how to import this change into Blender now. Head over back into object mode, deselect everything, then go into file, export, FBX and use the same directory that we've had before. So my tip, and in fact, Daniel Bui's tip, who taught me how to do this, I'm really grateful for that, Daniel, thank you so much, is not to overwrite the original file, even though you could do that. I might just call this one belt fix, so mirror belt fix. And here's another important thing, don't just hit 
export, you need to make a couple of changes so that Unreal Engine can import this mesh properly. So the first thing that we need to do is uh, switch off the animation. We don't need to send that data over. But the second one, very important, under Armature, open that up and make sure Add Leaf Bones is deselected. So switch that off. You can also save a preset up here like I did UE export. If you do this a lot, then you can just do that. I'm going to just go and do this manually, export FBX, and that's Blender's work done with this item here. Let's have a look again inside Unreal Engine and go to your skeletal mesh here, right click on it and head over to re-import with new file. Re-import would work if you had overwritten the original file, but re-import with new file lets you now pick a different file, like in my case Mira belt fix, and we're not touching the original here. Hit open, let Unreal Engine do its thing, and that has now fixed our skeletal mesh at some point when it comes back. There we go, success, awesome. If we go and look closely even on our post character, that thing is now more or less in the right position. And maybe I could have done a little bit more to put that in the exactly correct space. But yeah, there we go, that is now fixed. Let's take a look at the pants while we're in a fixing mood. And let me show you how to fix that. That would also be in Blender. I'm gonna select her trousers here. And this might be a good job for the brush tool. So I can see some pokes through that I didn't see in Unreal Engine. Perhaps I shouldn't be too concerned about that. But if I was, I would go over to sculpt mode and then usually make that a little, a little bigger and the strength a little lower. And then the smoothing brush also, that comes in with too much of a strength. So I'm going to go and turn that down. And then over here, I can go and just lightly brush over this until all the pokes through that I needed to get rid of is, is gotten rid of, so to say. So I think I saw some poking through here on the legs. So I'm just going to lightly brush over this. I don't think, I'm not sure if that's enough or if it's going to be any good, but I'll just go and give it, give it my best shot. There's currently no way that we can preview poses as we can see them in Unreal Engine, also in Blender. So if I just do this, do something similar here, just as a quick fix to see if it's actually getting rid of the problem. I mean, there's, there's many things that you can do to fix that. Let me go and make this a bit smoother at the at the top here. And I think this was the, the major issue. Let's see if that's enough. If there's anything else, you know, vertex tools or sculpting tools are your friends. And now we go and do the same thing again, export, FBX, and this is going to be mirror pants fix. And once, if you export something again, Blender will remember your setting. So we still have no animation and under armature, no leaf bones, that's still selected. Now I can go and do the same import again in Unreal Engine. Same thing, re-import with new file, mirror pants fix. And then we wait again. And that's done that. Let's see what happens when we walk around with our character. Uh, there we go. That's minimized what we saw there, but there's still a little bit of room for improvement there. I suppose because this happens underneath her pants, you can probably also do the same to the character mesh and just dent that in a little bit to get rid of that poke through. But now you know how to do it. So, you know, have fun doing that. Let's take a look at hair next and see how we can bring in the hair separately from the character. 